All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today I wanna bring you guys a quick guide on how to fully farm and max out the free to play LR Goku Black and just ensure that nobody makes any mistakes along the way. Now, there are actually two ways to do this. One is the easier way, but that requires you to use up to like 15 Elder Kais, or you can do it the slightly harder way, but the free way where no Elder Kais or any kind of Kais are sacrificed. And I honestly recommend everybody to do it the second way because the grind, all things considered, especially for a free-to-play LR, is not that bad. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing you'll have to do is farm up 29 copies. All right, exactly 29 copies of this Zamasu right here from stage two of the Zero Mortals uh, plan event. So this stage right here, by the way, of course, as you're farming this event, make sure to bring as many time travelers units on your team as possible for the biggest drop rate boost, right? So the reason you want 29 copies of this guy is because you need three different Zamasus. All right, the first one, we can consider your main Zamasu. In this one, you'll want to get to super attack 10, get him uh, fully duped out, like unlock all hidden potential paths and also give him the orbs to get him to 100% in the hidden potential system. So that's going to be your main guy. And then the second Zamasu, Needs to be at Super Attack 10 as well, but with no paths open and no orbs invested. And then the third Zamasu only has to be at Super Attack 5. And once again, with no orbs invested, no paths open. Alright, so that's 29 total Zamasus required. And then from there, you want to token awaken all three of them. So, in order to token awaken this guy, you need 30 of these medals from Stage 3 of the Zero Mortals event, right? So right here. So you need 30 for one, so for three of them you need 90. So 90 total of these medals to Doken Awaken all three. And this might take a while, but really not that long because we have the three minute stamina refresh as well as the uh, half time for the boost feature to refresh as well. So uh, it shouldn't be too bad. And then once you Doken Awaken all three, that's pretty much all we can do for part one of the anniversary. All right, so I mean, at this point in time, as I'm filming this video, we are in part one. So there's nothing else we can do. But once part two comes around, we'll be getting new stages for this event. And uh, on stage six, we'll get a new medal to token awaken the TUR Zamasu into LR Goku Black. All right, so this is the TUR Zamasu, which we can get right now. And then, once, like I said, once part two comes around, we can farm the new medals from stage six to token awaken him into LR Goku Black, right? Now, for one Goku Black, you'll need 50 medals. And of course, you gotta token awaken all three of them. So in total, we're looking at 150 of these medals from stage six. All right, now that's gonna take a little bit longer, but once again, with the bonuses and the reduced time for refreshes during the anniversary, it shouldn't take that long. And once you get all three of them token awakened, you'll have three uh, LR Goku Blacks, right? One at rainbow status, super attack 10. The other one at super attack 10, but no orbs invested, so 0%. And then the third one at super attack five, and once again, with no orbs invested, no paths open. Now at this point in time, you can feed the super attack 10 with no paths open LR Goku Black into your main LR Goku Black to get him to super attack 20. So you'll have a rainbowed super attack 20 LR Goku Black completely for free. And then just hold on to that Super Attack 5 LR Goku Black until part three of the anniversary. Now, once part three of the anniversary rolls around, we'll be getting the Extreme Z Area event for the Goku Black. And then we can farm his Extreme Z Awakening medals. And in total, you'll need uh, 45 of the EZA medals to perform all three steps and get him fully Extreme Z Awakened. And once he's fully Extreme Z Awakened, his max super attack will be 25. And this is where the last Goku Black comes into play. So now you feed in the final super attack 5 LR Goku Black into your main LR Goku Black, and he'll be fully maxed out at super attack level 25 without any Kai's invested. Now taking a quick look at the Extreme Z area event here, here is the pool of units you're allowed to use to run this event. 
you guys can, you know, see which ones you have. And if you still need to work on a few of them to build a team to run this event, then now is the time to do it. I mean, I know we're still, you know, quite a few weeks away from actually seeing it, but it never hurts to be ready, right? So that's the floor right there. Of course, you will need the LR Goku Black on your team. That's the, I think, only unit that's mandatory. And that pretty much does it for today's guide, guys. I mean, we can go back to the LR Goku Black to take a look at his details once he's fully Extreme Z Awakened for anybody that doesn't know. His leader skill is going to be Time Travelers, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%. Super Attack, the 12 key, is uh, Colossal Damage and lowers Attack and Defense. And the 18 key raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes Mega Colossal Damage. His passive is Attack and Defense plus 59%, Key plus 1 with each attack received up to 6, launches an additional attack that has a medium chance, which is 25% of becoming a super attack when facing 2 or more enemies, and plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered, up to 59%. And final blow just means, you know, delivering the, the kill shot, right? Also, with the way that his additional boost is calculated, he actually gets a total boost of 152.81% after defeating three enemies. And his links are going to be Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Nightmare, Dismal Future, Fear and Faith, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Dragon Ball Seekers, Time Travelers, and Inhuman Deeds. Alright, so I guess the last thing I'll say is for his hidden potential system, I personally think that the best build is to go with mostly crits and then a few additional but that's pretty much it and uh, you guys can do whatever you want obviously the great thing about free to play units is that you can really play around with their hidden potential system right because it doesn't cost stones to actually change up their skills if you want to you know change up the build of your goku black in the future then you can just farm more zamasus and then change up those skills to make it more dodge dominant or more additional dominant and so on and so forth but i do believe that the best build is to go with mostly crits okay so that is today's video guys that's all i gotta say about uh, the lr goku black hopefully you guys found this guide useful happy farming and as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.